see that there is a kind of disagreement between UNAIDS and UNODC on, on this issue. As far as uh, harm reduction is concerned, uh, my colleague may correct me, but I am not aware of any resolution of, uh, of the uh, CND in favor of harm, harm reduction. Uh, so we do not have, uh, we are not specifically mandated by our member states, our stakeholders to promote the harm reduction. Mr. Fedotov, in fact, is on record as saying, well, we've no UN resolution on harm reduction, therefore I don't take a position on it. Well, that's nonsense. If the UNODC needed a CND resolution for everything it wants to say, well, that would be a pretty stunted conversation, let's face it. It's a part of the Secretariat. It doesn't need to be to have language from the UN to, to say what needs to be done based on evidence and human rights. UNODC are unique in the UN family for not being able to say the words harm reduction. I think it's a term which was widely used in the WHO, in UNAIDS, in the Global Fund, in many other organisations. So UNODC, I think, has a particularly uh, sensitive issue around it and that's, a, that's a, a matter for them. And it is true that there has never been a CND resolution which deals with harm reduction as such, but we do say uh, you know, there is a euphemism for it, which is, uh, which is uh, reducing the negative health and social consequences of drug use. So, you know, that's what we refer to when we say harm reduction. So, I think Mr. Fedotov uh, knows well, I'm sure, what, that, what we mean when we say harm reduction. UNODC has supported harm reduction activities and harm reduction itself for a very long time. There might not be a resolution that's gone through CND that can contains the word harm reduction because we had a big discussion about that a few years ago with regard to the political declaration and harm reduction didn't make it in. But in terms of the work that UNODC does, it contains a lot of harm reduction. We know that the most effective measures for addressing HIV transmission amongst injecting drug users are needle and syringe exchange and OST and the other interventions recommended by the UNODC, WHO and UNAIDS. So this extreme ambiguity in the leadership of UNODC is something that's very problematic and it's especially problematic given that they're co-sponsor co for HIV injecting drug use with UNAIDS they have a responsibility to be, to be promoting science-based human rights compliant interventions to halt the HIV epidemic amongst injecting drug users.